How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win and this is going to be another episode of some Black Ops 2 information. Now this is going to be some pretty interesting information. Um, you know, it's really exciting. In fact, I wasn't even going to make a Black Ops 2 video today. I didn't have a video scheduled. So I'm kind of throwing this up last minute. Hopefully you enjoy. Anyways, um, and I saw this news and I was like, damn, I cannot not make a Black Ops 2 video today. And it's Nuketown 2025. I'm sure you've seen a few videos of this already, but I'd just like to make my own and form my own subscribers because I am the number one source for Black Ops 2 information. I don't care what anyone else says. Um, I'm clear not to like grab my own horn or anything like that, but I see a lot of people hanging with those titles. But in my opinion, you guys are the best subscribers who make my Black Ops 2 videos possible. Anyways, so there's going to be two pictures that I'm going to show you. The first one right now, um, it's kind of got like a nuke. It's got like the nuke symbol, and then it says Nuketown 2025, Black Ops 2. It's like pre-order the game, $5 deposit, and you can have it. What does this mean? Two things. One, this is freaking amazing. Um, Nuketown was one of the coolest maps on the game. Not only was it the map with the most color, which Treyarch really struggled with in their game. I know a lot of people rag on me for saying Treyarch's perfect. No, their color scheme sucks. Their sound is horrible. But Nuketown was a map that had a ton of color. It was really small, fast-paced, and if you got a Blackbird chopper gun or dogs, you were unstoppable, and the game was pretty much yours, which is cool in a way because, you know, it can really make for some... Uh, what, what can I really say? Some really cool games where you can get like a really high score or something like that. Anyways, moving on. So what is this? <laughs> From a nostalgic standpoint, it's going to be the very first game where we've seen a, uh, a Call of Duty game launch with the uh, launch with the title from the previous Call of Duty. And yes, I know there have been many DLCs released uh, in the future, bringing back previous Call of Duty maps. And I know Modern Warfare 2 started with kind of a Call of Duty 2 map, Wasteland. It wasn't the exact same, but it's still very cool because, like, like I said, it's the first time that a black guy, or a game, a Call of Duty game, has launched with a title from the previous Call of Duty. Another thing I kind of looked at does, what does this mean from Treyarch's perspective and the community standpoint? A, there were a ton of Nuketown 24-7s because it was easy to get XP, high-scoring games on the leaderboard, everything like that. But they also listened to the feedback. Nuketown 24-7 and Firing Range 24-7 were the two most common 24-7, if you can see my air quotes, uh, that the game allowed. So they listened and they know that they're like, okay, we're not going to put Crisis as the very first game, Crisis 2025, but Nuketown or Firing Range. And I'm sure Firing Range is going to come along sometime. Uh, we really just need to kind of wait it out and see what happens. So anyways, guys, that has been the Nuketown 24, or <laughs> I almost said Nuketown 24-7, Nuketown 2025 edition. It's going to be very cool. We're going to see if the map has any changes, maybe some futuristic things, maybe like a 2012 version of this Jeep or, you know, a school bus with rocket ships on it. I really don't know. But like for school buses with rocket ships, how cool would that be, guys? Anyways, the second part of this video is me announcing that I just got my new internet. Thank you, AT&T Uverse, um, for saving me. And now I have hardwired everything internet, which means I'm going to be able to play Minecraft with you on the Xbox. Now, I'm already damning myself right now by asking you to send me a message playing Minecraft. But as soon as this video goes up, I'm going to be playing Minecraft with you guys throughout the evening. So go ahead and do that. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next episode.